choice. Yeah, you know? I mean, Isaiah 53 also, if you look at standard exegesis, Jewish exegesis of Isaiah 53, nobody believes this is the yeah. Messiah. Nobody believes that someone is vicariously atoning for your sins. Mm -hmm. The meaning here is that, that, that and, and sort of the, the general, uh, I would, what I should say is that the, the, the dominant opinion is that the suffering servant is a sort of personification of Israel itself. But yeah. there are rabbis, uh, for example, <clears throat> Rabbi Saadi Gayon, who's like the first Jewish systematic theologian in the history of Judaism in the 10th century, he said that this could be a reference to Jeremiah. The suffering servant is Jeremiah. And there's actually intertextual correspondences. I was as a lamb led to the slaughter. I was cut off uh, out of the land of the living. You know, th those texts are in common if you look at Jeremiah and yeah. Isaiah 53. But they say that the meaning of this is that the death of or the sufferings of Jeremiah, because they didn't actually kill him at the end. He actually fled to Egypt. Uh, but he was, you know, he was bruised and he was, you know, smitten and afflicted, a man of sorrows. He's called mm -hmm. the weeping prophet. That his sufferings is supposed to provoke within us a deep sense of toba or teshuva. And that's the redemptive value of his suffering. Not that anyone's dying for your sins here. Again, this is a completely foreign concept.